right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you guys to smash that like button and if it's your first time here do not forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video and you're up to date on our chart analysis here with 42 vision so here we are with rdbx redbox entertainment inc and it has hit a dip area on the 30 minute right why with Fred Borders is what we consider a dip area, and we have not hit that area since the 14th and the 15th here before the most recent reversal and full transition. I talked about this in yesterday's video, and I talked about how we did a complete transition here as well, even though we did not hit Why with Fred Borders. And here we are retesting these support levels, and we need to talk about some key levels here within RDBX and the data. So you're definitely going to want to stick around. But before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home and opportunities that our Tesla bot and spy bot sent out this morning over at the Discord. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts with 42 vision and getting connected to our bots, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. You'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So the home run opportunities were from our Tesla bot and our spy bot. The stocks I mentioned this morning gave realistic expectations, but our spy bot at 9.25 a.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward into the bell and after the bell, there was a continuation of strength and call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys, at its highest point of possibility. And our Tesla bot, since 7.35 a.m., this out a bull indicator while consolidating up towards the bell. And after the bell, it continued with strength and call options went up as well, 100% plus at their highest point of possibility within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts and know about the stocks that we watch daily, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with our DBX stock, Redbox Entertainment Inc. And as I stated earlier in the video, we hit a dip area here on the 30 minute for the first time in the last several days. And the last time we had hit it was way back here in May 31st and June 1st before actually hitting it again on the 15th so this does not happen all the time but when we hit these dip areas we definitely need to watch carefully the supports if they're going to continue to get broken through and much more bearish or could the bulls put up a fight and break through resistance levels so i'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators which you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot and our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So RDBX has had many bull and bear indicators within the volatility in the last several days and weeks, but right now we just switched from a bull indicator to a bear indicator today in the pre-market we talked about the support levels in yesterday's video and i had clearly stated if we broke through 11 dollars, the next support was down here at 1020s and even down to the lows of 980s and we've been fighting around that area trying to bounce off the 10 dollar mark and it's going back towards 10 dollars as i'm speaking and doing this video so we definitely need to be aware of how important technical analysis and charts matter i always say this and i say this all the time that charts do matter guys and price is king when things are moving in the volatility and charts are truth guys versus one's emotions you definitely do not want your emotions to get in the way and the truth lies in the charts guys the charts tell you what's going on and the behavior that investors or anyone that's invested whether it's bulls bears shorts or longs it lets you see what they're deciding. So super important. So let's talk about here what's going on on larger time frames. So here I have pulled up the four hour. We're going to go back to the 30 minute and even the 15 minute to go ahead and look at the volatility and do a chart analysis on those time frames. But we definitely want to look at the bigger picture. So 
on the four hour we are here in the volatility sitting sideways but under a bear indicator since fifteen dollars and thirty cents give or take right now it's had its moments that it tried to come back up when it bounced from nine dollars to thirteen fourteen dollars almost and it pulled back down then it did another small run from nine dollars to twelve and now we're pulling back down and we've been in red bars since yesterday and it was just beginning and i stated if there was a continuation we needed to watch this carefully because we are under a bear indicator we need a bull indicator that cancels it out on any possible reversal to the upside this wasn't strong enough this wasn't strong enough and right now we're under red bars right and under a bear indicator on the four hour now on the one day if you go ahead and look at this chart we've been talking about how this bear indicator popped up at 1207 anything below that signifies possible further weakness and i stated when this first green bar popped up and i even showed you guys the recording if it's your first time here if you go back to a few videos back one or two videos back you will see the small clip that i cut out when i drew this same exact bar when we had this green bar if this bear indicator was dominating the chart as you could see it's been sitting sideways and here we are another red bar and pulling it back down closer to the lows when things fell from the peak at 18 dollars to lows here of eight to nine dollars right and here we are at ten dollars so right now this bear indicator in the bigger picture is dominating the chart and the only way things can go with stronger momentum to the upside not just on the 30 minute not just on the four hour but also on the one day is by canceling out this bear indicator and this bear indicator is the first bear indicator that we get in weeks since may 23rd from the last bull indicator that actually is now canceled out and this bull indicator is dominating the chart right now so super important to pay close attention to these key levels and what the charts are showing on 42 vision i'm going to continue to watch this not only on the one day but also on the four hour as we are under a bear indicator we want bull indicators to pop up to cancel them out on the one day and four hour and here we are on the 30 minute under a bear indicator as well but we have had volatility here from the bull to bear indicators within the dip areas to the rip areas and here we are right now going back down a full transition from the rip to the dip and the extra layer of confirmation with the bear indicator but not only is it the 30 minute that's under a bear indicator we also were looking yesterday at the video that we did the 15 minute right how it was actually sitting sideways and i was going to be looking for a bear indicator if one popped up and in the after hours it did pop up and that was something i was watching to see if it rolled over into the 15 minute and 30 minute and it certainly did right it rolled over into the 15 minute it canceled out this last bull indicator at right around the same area at 11:56. a bull indicator popped up things sat sideways bear indicator at 11:56. things continued downwards a lot of volatility today but the overall direction on the 30 minute has been a bear indicator since $11.30. So what are the key levels? Well, the first thing is the support here of 985. It got pretty close to it at 988, 990. We definitely need to watch that carefully. And then below 985 is right here at 893, guys. Those are the key support levels right now to watch. 890s 880s and if they both get broken through and the nines then this is something to definitely watch below those levels towards eight dollars but to the upside we want to see this break back up towards the high of the day 1159 cancel out this bear indicator and get a bull indicator in the process of that possible upward trend and breaking through resistance levels and not only that but we want to see the 30 minute pull up the four hour as well the one day with it and cancel out those bear indicators and bring strength to the bulls and overall trend of the chart right and breaking through those resistance levels so we definitely want to watch this carefully if it could break above that 1159 mark then the next mark would be up here towards 1230s and then we can start talking about higher levels on the chart. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. I personally believe that things have gotten a little bit more difficult for the stock to move and squeeze because gamma squeeze has been taken away from it. I broke it all down in one of my last videos, about two, three videos behind this one a few days ago. And it was last Friday. I posted it over the weekend as well. That was probably one of the most important things to realize that it's a variable 
It's not the only part that contributes to a squeeze, but it has been removed and it makes things change up a little bit. It makes the squeeze effect not as, how I could say, it's significant or impactful as it was when things were moving this fast and the options chain was available. But some people are still speculating that no one needs gamma squeeze to squeeze and that is not wrong and that is not true, right? Either one of those perspectives, depending how you look at it, it is not right or wrong, but without the variable, it changes things. That is the part I want to emphasize. It changes the way things move, but a short squeeze on its own without a gamma squeeze can start moving pretty fast, especially if the shorts feel the pressure as typical, right? With any short squeeze and they start covering pretty fast. Again, I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. And nothing that I share is to be taken as financial advice. I'm just sharing my perspective and opinions alone, especially of the charts and everything that I share when it comes to the short squeeze potential and the different data and variables. Again, I could be completely wrong about this information, but I'm here to share my perspectives and opinions and what the charts are showing. It is not financial advice. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.